Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tammy. I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique, and as you know by now, by the thumbnail, that this is a replica surfaces review. I purchased replica surfaces and the stand. I don't remember what they call that little rolling stand. My husband and I already put the stand together, so I'm not really doing an unboxing. I did say I was done purchasing splurge items, and I wasn't going to, but I'm blaming you guys because one of you told me they were having a sale and I hopped on there and I bought it all. <laughs> Not all of it. No, don't get me wrong. I, know. I bought four boards. <laughs> so the reason that I really wanted this was just ease of use and space wise and frustration wise, I was struggling with my pictures. Now, do I expect that having these replica surfaces all of a sudden make me a great photographer on my product photos? No. I don't expect that at all. So I'm trying to have some reasonable expectations for this system. It is clearly gonna be great backgrounds and great platforms for my products to sit on, but also it's just gonna be an ease of use thing. And I think that's just in the end going to make me better. So I have some clips. These are more for downstairs so that I can actually take some action pictures. So if I'm piping something or pouring something, I can be able to have a camera and really get a close up of that uh, pour with a really nice background. So it's going to look really uh, professionally done, I hope. And then the stand is upstairs. Those are for product photos. I have a lot of photos to take. Guys, I thought I would try to do a bit of a reenactment for you to kind of see my current setup and what struggles I was having. And so I thought I would take you upstairs to the window where I usually take my pictures and show you that setup. Although I already did uh, kind of throw away my background and my uh, platform of whatever I was putting my products on. So I really won't be able to show you that, but you, you will get an idea. What I thought would be kind of fun, not only am I gonna to try to do a reenactment to show you my current setup, but I thought it would be fun to take a photo from my website and reenact that with the boards. So I, I thought that would be a good way to see the difference of the two pictures. Let's see this thing in action. All right, guys, it's actually been a few weeks since I taped that intro and of course, as usual, I lost all my footage of my taking <laughs> pictures. So I am gonna try to recreate that again for you. Uh, but I wanna show you the boards that I bought while I think this is fairly decent light in here. So the first board that I'm showing you is weathered wood. It's a gray smoky black and it's just got a lot of texture and movement in it. I really like this. I use this for my beard products that I recently made and I really like the moody vibe that it gives those types of products. Next is sandstone and this is probably one of my favorites. It's white, it has a bit of veining in it. It's just very clean and I like this for both a base and a backdrop. Uh, I just think it's beautiful. My second favorite is the natural walnut that I have here. And I just love the wood vibes of these boards. I love, even my pictures before this, I had a lot of wood backdrops and um, boards that I would place my products on. So I just love this. I love the color and the tone of the brown. It's not too honey. It's just a really, really good neutral brown. I love this backdrop so much. And I pair this a lot with the sandstone. And then lastly, guys, I just got the plain white one. Mostly, I did this for a, a light bounce board. Uh, so it'll fit in the stand nicely and it'll bounce the light back into the product so I don't have as many shadows. I don't know that I'm gonna really use this an awful lot, but I may do it as like a base to set products on with a really busy background uh, backdrop if I didn't need it as a backboard or a light bounce board or whatever you call those. So, <laughs> I am so out of control. They had a sale. Their marketing, you know, come on. Their marketing, <laughs> it just got me. But uh, limited editions coming back, last chance. You know, I fell for it. <laughs> I fell for it. So the first one I bought was this green. It kind of has a, a look of uh, blurred out, 
twinkling lights in it. I really like the champagne color better uh, than this green. I don't know. I'm still not sold on that. So I'm going to try this in a couple of pictures and see if I can learn to love it. Then this one I just thought was perfect, especially for Bath and Body. And it's just these beautiful blue skies. I just thought it was really pretty. And then lastly, I, another one. I'm not too sure about how this is going to look. <laughs> but I just really fell in love with it. And that's the window. So this will make it look like your product is sitting in front of a window. This is where I will do either the sandstone with that veining or just the plain white. Any of these three is going to be either the sandstone or the very plain white probably because they're so busy in the background. I just love the blurred image in the background that, you know, I'm not good enough to take a picture in front of a window and have the background be blurry. So they're doing it for me. So let's get on with a little bit of a demo with how I used to take my pictures. I'm going to bring the camera down a little bit, angle it down so you can kind of see what I have going on right here. So my normal setup before this system, I have my four foot table here in front of my window. I have, I'm using these just mailers just to pretend that these are my boards. So I would have my soap sitting on one board. I would hold this up as a white bounce board. And then I would have another board that I would kind of hold up here and I would put something right here that's kind of big and heavy to hold that in place and kind of lean that up against that. And then sometimes when that happened, oh look, a candle. I don't know if it's going to be big and heavy enough, but I would lean something kind of big and heavy right here to hold this up, and then I could sometimes lean that up, <laughs> and then I would come around here, and I would have to bend down and try to find space back here to bend down, get my shot, take my picture, and then things start moving and falling. So for a flat lay, what I would do is I would have my soap on whatever I'm doing here, down here, my whiteboard, I would basically take my camera and snap it like this as I held this whiteboard with my uh, forearms. So that was my setup. Uh, not, not the most, it was, it was frustrating because I could never keep all my boards from falling over. My last board that I used was the end of my countertop that we cut off, my new countertop. It was quite a bit thicker, so it was probably, what, an inch, inch and a quarter thick. I could get it to stand up without bracing it. As long as I didn't move the table too much, it would stay standing. And my white poster board or... Uh, I got them at Dollar Tree. I can't remember. It's not poster board, but that thicker board, I was able to hold that up fairly well without it knocking over until it came to my flat lays and I was still doing this. Now let's see this replica in action. All right, we're going to start at the bottom here. And these legs are solid. They have casters on them, so they roll and they have locks. So you can lock it into place. And you can raise the, uh, that key will hold the platform up so you can get it higher. I have it about as low as it will go right now. And I think it can go lower still even. Um, the legs can spread apart a lot further so it'll go a lot further down towards the, the floor. If I were to um, take that knob over here I think that would allow those legs to spread out. I think that's what that knob is for. There, that key is in action. All right, we're gonna do a sun background. A sky background, not really a sun background. So that just fits right in. And let's do my favorite sandstone on the bottom. It's starting to get a little dark in here, so I'm going to go ahead and put the whiteboard over here. And now I can take a picture.
and I'm going to take a quick picture. I'm just going to use my phone for this. Normally I will have this high so I'm not bending over. All right. And while it's low, I'm going to do a quick flat lay. I'm going to do my favorite walnut, guys. All right. That was so easy. So easy to, to switch out the the bottoms, change up the look of my uh, pictures so quickly and easily. I'm going to bring it back up so it's a little easier for me and then we'll uh, take a couple more pictures. All right, I have the seam, this windowsill, so I'm going to move it where I need it so it's more in front of the window. And I am still going to be using my bounce board. My house doesn't get a lot of light, guys, so I almost always have to use a bounce board on all of my pictures and let's get a picture of that maybe I will end up loving the oh I want the white hang on I'm just keeping these really simple for this demonstration I'm not trying to uh, like stage them in any great way I think I might like this background more than I thought I would let's try the uh, twinkling lights 10 seconds to change that back. 10 seconds, guys. One of my standard shots is just the three soaps just like this. All right. I've got some pictures for us to take a look at. I still have some pictures that I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of. So that's it guys, that's my replica review. I hope you had fun watching this different type of uh, video for me. I didn't say in the beginning, but I, I feel like it's fairly clear, but this is not a paid advertisement. It's not, I'm not an affiliate or anything like that. I um, clearly spent my own money on these products. <laughs> and so I just wanted to put that out there. This isn't paid advertisement and I'm not an affiliate, but um, I just like to share with you guys what is going on in my business and that is what I've done. All in all, I'm really happy with the surfaces. I'm really happy with the system. I think I could have gotten away and, and saved quite a bit of money by not buying the platform but I am not mad about having it. It really is just an ease of use thing for me. I'm kind of cramped where I'm at. I mean, I have plenty of room to move. I just didn't have a lot of room on the end of the table and I was always fighting, bending down, trying to find my, my pictures. And so having a surface that can raise up to eye level and then lower for the flat lays is really quite handy and uh, just an ease of use thing. I'm really happy with the surfaces themselves. I think they're easy to clean. They look really nice. The window actually looks like a window. <laughs> so I mean I ended up really liking the window and the green twinkling lights more than I thought I would and I just I like being able to change up my product photos especially for the uh, social media. Some, I, I need to make sure that I'm not going too crazy on my website. I think I need to keep those fairly uniform. I really like being able to have it down here as well so that I can do those action type photos for my social media posts if I ever get around to posting. I'm not very good about that. But maybe now I will be, right? <laughs> So guys, this was an investment. It was it was quite a bit of money I spent on this system and the boards. And I will say, I'm not I'm not mad that I spent the money, but I really need to cool it. <laughs> I need to be
be done. And so I am done. I'm done spending a significant amount of money on anything other than like necessary ingredients, right? Uh, packaging, necessary ingredients and packaging. I'm obviously going to be spending money, but some of these splurge items, I really am done. I really feel like I've kind of gone away from where I was last year, where I was really focused last year on saving money and making wise decisions for my business. And I've just kind of like, whoo, this last six months, I was like, what more can I buy? <laughs> I'm just throwing money at things. And I'm done until January of 2024. So you guys don't tell me about any more sales. <laughs> But all that being said is I am really happy I paid the money for this. I'm really happy with the product. I'm really very satisfied with everything about it. As expected, it's not making me this wonderful photographer just because I have these surfaces. I still struggle with the lighting. I still struggle with the tone of my editing and the exposure and all of those little settings in your editing software where you really do try to make your photos and your products look as true to life as you can. I still struggle with that so much. Some of my photos are kind of washed out. Some of them are a little too yellow and it's just like I'm all over the place. And every time I go through that photo taking and editing process, I feel like I'm getting just a little bit better. But I'd love to be able to like arrange my soaps like I see some other YouTubers do, how they arrange their soaps at the beginning or end of a video. And it's so pretty and, and nicely done and I'm not that person <laughs> but I really like that and I'd love to try to get to the point where I'm able to incorporate some of those kind of design elements into my my product photos comment down below guys and let me know what you think about my new photos and if you think there's a, there's an improvement or maybe not no difference I don't know <laughs> And if you like the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't already. I really do appreciate every like, every subscribe, and every comment. So thank you for those. And I hope to see you guys in the very next video. I don't know what it's going to be because with me, you just never know, right? But whatever it is, I hope you're there. Bye.